what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel the boy gaming here coming to you from the truck uh yes we do have precipitation uh yes that is snow on the ground beside on the side of the road in the ditches but all is well all is good we're running in rain mainly uh this morning was kind of crappy uh woke up to snow uh, which was not good not fun not something I wanted to wake up to, but, you know, it is winter, and we do run in snow. And it does snow in Kansas. That's where I was. I wasn't at home, but uh, I was in Kansas when I picked up this morning. So, that's going to be kind of a little bit different than what I've been, been talking about, you know, speed and, and, and control of your vehicle. But uh, it kind of coincides with what's going on with what I've been talking about. So this morning coming into Oklahoma, which is where I'm currently at. Uh, by the way, happy home day. I entered the state of Oklahoma, went through uh, their rolling scale, got clear, uh, pre cleared their pre pass to go ahead and bypass their scale. About. Uh, four and a half miles down the road was a vehicle uh, presumed to be broke down uh, upon getting closer to the vehicle I noticed that it had some body damage and looked like they had been in an accident no I did not stop to render aid because the vehicle looked like it was driving and the people were moving around so I continued down the road well, I would say probably within six miles of passing that vehicle, I had an OHP, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, going the opposite direction, decided to turn around and proceeded to be retard by my original uh, mindset because he was prohibiting me from safely going around somebody so he could conduct a rolling investigation. Now the reason why I say conduct a rolling investigation, I will get to that. Uh, I don't know what his intentions were while he was rolling beside me at that moment in time, but um, he, drew, he was up beside me, he was back by my trailer tandems, which is not very good, especially in road conditions as they were when I first entered Oklahoma. Uh, as you can see, I'm backing off of the HSM truck that is in front of us because he's, we are in a construction zone, the total subject change there. We are on with pavement, uh, so I'm giving myself an out, which means backing off of him here just a little bit. I'll be on I-40. So, but uh, he proceeded to do a rolling investigation that I was explained later. Uh, he was back by my tandems. He was up by my door. He was back next to my sleeper. He he was all up and down my left side uh, while we were rolling down the road. Did he pull me over then? No. Which was actually bad on his part, but again, I'll explain a little bit. Uh, after he did conducted whatever he was doing, doing whatever he was doing beside me, he proceeded to get in front, so I was going to go around a FedEx truck that was going under Speed, under speed limit uh, and I wanted to safely get around him because conditions favor that I could drive speed uh, within five miles an hour of the speed limit I was five miles below it the FedEx truck was driving ten miles below the post speed limit so I drove went to a pilot truck stop uh, he is slowing down even more. We're down to 50 mile an hour. 
but uh, I proceeded to stop at a pilot truck stop to take care of some paperwork, get me something to drink, and get new windshield wipers, uh, which I am doing uh, not paid, but I am doing a, uh, oh, what is it called? A product test. Um, the windshield wipers that I picked up is called Clicks. C L I N X, which I'll explain to you guys in a little bit too, and why I'm doing a product test. And then I will let the company know my thoughts and feelings on their windshield wipers, which was my other reason to stop because the ones that I had on the truck were not doing the job because they were starting to fail. So I'm inside, I'm doing my shopping, I'm doing what I need to do. I come back out to the truck, well, lo and behold, there's no HP officer. Uh, identified as the one that was beside me doing whatever he was doing, uh, he asked if I was the driver of my rig, which I, you know, complied and told him that I was. Uh, he asked for my identification, and I complied, gave him my identification, and we began. He began doing an investigation and talking to me and letting me know what was going on. And seeing, you know, if I was involved with a hit and run. I was like, well, no, I have not been involved in a hit and run. Yes, I do have damage to my vehicle, to my truck. Uh, but this is coinciding with uh, backing accidents at two separate truck stops in two separate states. He proceeded to ask me, and I did ask him if it was okay if he would go on record and on film for you guys to work to conduct this investigation. He declined. No problem. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, so, he proceeded with his investigation. He asked me his questions. And luckily, thanks to which, my wife, I have became an information hoarder. Uh, anything that happens to the truck, anything that I do for the truck, anything I buy for the truck, so on and so forth. I keep a hold of that information until it deems that I don't need to anymore. Well, lo and behold, uh, he needed a timestamp for when the accident, uh, the damage to my truck from when I got backed into in Texas before Thanksgiving, um, he needed a timestamp showing that I had already reported the, reported the damage to the up. No problem, I can produce that. Well. Originally, I thought I could produce it just by showing my photos, because I showed him the photos originally. Well, there was no timestamp on that because the way my photo album is set up, no problem. I got this. I still retain the text messages that I sent to both my safety director and the claims uh, personnel of, of the accident documenting the damage and documenting everything that happened uh, when I got back to the first time. And then I proceeded to show him the timestamp from the text when I sent when my head, uh, when the front end got back into and got the headline listed. So that cleared me of any wrongdoing or even being a suspect in a hit and run to this said vehicle. So, and then we exchanged, you know, he gave me back my ID. He thanked me for being, you know, cooperating, which I am always cooperative with law enforcement. It doesn't matter if it's higher patrol, uh, DOT, uh, county cop, city cop, uh, even fishing game. They're, they are law enforcement. Uh, even TSA, I'm fine with them because they are a part of the law enforcement. So I cleared everything and then proceeded to take care of because I asked him if he had talked to anybody within my company that I drive for. Uh, he stated, no, I don't, uh, I talked to whoever the head guy is in your, in your safety department, da, 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 da. Okay, no problem. So I started with, my, with him uh, to get clarification that yes, I did clear myself, I did clear the truck, letting them know that it was not our truck, I am not involved, we are good to go. Okay, could not get a hold of him, so I called my claims department personnel and talked to the uh, 
person in charge of that, and explained to him the situation, and he explained to me that they had contacted him. So, as long as we were on matching pages, he, you know, the, my safety guy claims was kind of scratching his head, wondering, okay, who was the driver? You know, we have one that has uh, damage that would probably match this. Da, 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 da. Hopefully it wasn't him because, of course, they're going to pay him first. Well, I got pegged because I was coming out of Kansas City, Oklahoma. I was in the vicinity. I was within the time frame of the hit and run. So, you know, I made sure that my I's were dotted, my T's were crossed, and that I could continue down the road going about what I need to do. Okay, the OHP officer thanked me for cooperation, like I said. And with him thanking me, I also told him verbatim, you're out here trying to do a job just like I am. You're going to keep us in check and keep us safe. I'm out here trying to keep the world moving. Keep it American movie with goods and products. So, you know, all in all, everything turned out okay with me. No one was hurt in the accident. He did explain that to me. No one was hurt in the accident except for their pride. They are continuing an investigation looking for a truck matching my color. That was the only thing that he could go off of, off of was the color of my truck. So, This is a little PSA. If you're ever involved in a hit and run, get as much information as you can in the split seconds that it takes that you're involved in this hit and run. Okay, we're gonna back off of this guy because he's going slow again. He's 10 under. The posted speed limit through here is 60, he's 10 under. But, you know, he's playing it safe. We have weather, as you can see. Uh, so, he went off of, uh, always, getting back to what I'm saying, always, always, if you're involved in a hit and run, get as much information as you can in the split seconds it takes for the hit and run to happen. Starting with a complete vehicle description, which you can get in a split second. It is a blue blah, blah, blah. Any other details? It had da 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 da. Okay, that gives them a little bit more than we were hit by a blue semi. So, with that being said, always make sure you're aware of your surroundings, everything that is going on. This keys back into what I've been telling y'all. Be aware of your surroundings. So, back to my other part, I'm telling you about these windshield wipers. I have, I bought a pair of windshield, a set of windshield wipers back in July. We're supposed to be uh, excellent in all weather, all conditions, da 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 da. Well, they crapped out on me. I hadn't had a perfect year. Anco, Rainix, Anco windshield wipers do not have a warranty because they're an expendable item. I spent thirty dollars a pair or thirty dollars a piece for the wiper, the Rain X wiper blades, extra scrub. Okay, thinking that uh, they would be wonderful coming into the winter, you know, coming up on winter and, and running through the winter. Uh, I'd say this, these extra scrub that I had purchased originally are crap. They do nothing in winter weather except for fist me off. So while I was a pilot, during all this other stuff going on, I looked and was checking and looking and checking and looking at the various windshield wipers that they carry and they carry these clicks, okay? And that is the brand that they, these are, that you see wiping in front of you. So I'm doing a product review, unbeknownst to clicks, 
I will give you a final result. I will run them for 30 days. I will give you a final result on these. Uh, what I think of, and I will also submit my review to Clint's through their former office. Uh, they were actually cheap, reasonable price. Uh, they were 15 bucks a piece. Uh, they come with a little flip over to, for an extra hold uh, onto the Western Wiper arm, which is a good thing because it saves from getting a lot of snow and ice building, which is a lot of problem that a lot of windshield wipers have. So that is good. They're the same kind that I, uh, not the same brand, but the same kind that I run on my personal car. Uh, kind of like Michelin ones, basically, that Michelin puts out. So, so, so far in the four and a half hours that I've been running now, I've been very pleased. They keep the windshield clear. Uh, there's no, no major smearing. There's a little bit of smearing every now and then because of road salt, but there's no major smearing. It, does, it doesn't smear where it's in my direct view, direct by the line of sight. So with that being said, I want to welcome all new members, uh, all new subscribers, not new members, new subscribers to the channel. Uh, this is the first time you've ever seen any of my uh, road vlogs or any kind of, uh, any one of my videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I do put out one of these road vlogs. Uh, don't let the name fool you, Bulldog Gaming. I do game. Uh, I do a lot of gaming over on Twitch on Sunday. I live stream. Uh, mainly right now, I'm live streaming American Truck Simulator. So if you want to, come join me over on Twitch. Uh, I also have a Facebook page called Bulldog Gaming Live. Uh, over on Facebook, it is a public uh, it, it is a public Facebook page. So all you got to do is just look up Bulldog Gaming Live. Come over and watch me on, on Facebook. Uh, and I do interact with my with everybody that comes into my streams and I do interact and answer questions as much as I can when I'm knowledgeable with the question being asked right here on my YouTube channel. Uh, so with that being said, stay warm, stay dry, and we'll catch y'all on the flip.